Big hello to our dearest students, nearest to our heart and soul. One well, welcome to the Psychological Booster today, and let's make the last minute preparations and be ready for the success. Is my voice audible and is it clear to all of you out there? Hi, our friend. Hello, Amani, my girl. Hello, Aisha Chaudhary. How are you guys doing? Eminem, Rasha, Farah, Mehvish, Manal, Muna, my dearest, Noha, Ravi, thank you very much for joining in. I just placed the link for you there only. Hello, Sabah. Hi, Salma. Hi, Sarah. Inas, my dear. Sheila, Shaista, Sadaqwala, Zarmina. Hello, Ali. How are you guys doing? The voice is audible. Are you shy? Yes, all clear. Wa alaikum assalam rahmatullah. Thank you very much. A very good morning to all of you out there. Thank you very much for joining in. Thank you. All right. So, why are we meeting today? I know you all are all set. I can understand that the nervousness with the passage of time is a little more when it comes to the exam being near. Now, in my personal experience, exam is like me versus universe. If you just have a thought about this, it seems as we are alone. We are striving hard for this exam, desperate to be successful. And if we create a condition where we are in competition with the universe, definitely yes, definitely yes, we will be crushed by very small things. We come to this universe, friends, with nothing and we die with nothing. But in spite of that, we have been told to struggle. Life is about struggle. I'm meeting you guys to tell you that we are working hard to get our dreams, but we have competition with ourselves only. This is the first thing you people have to tell yourself that we need to compete. Compete with yourself. Compete with no one else. Do not compare. Today, the thoughts which are disturbing you is, tell me if I'm wrong. Oh my God, what am I going to do? What would my mother-in-law say if I don't make it? What would my kids say when they'll be asking about the result? What would happen? My hospital colleagues from which I have been taking favors to do my duties, what would they say? If you think about yourself, your efficiency would be better. When we start thinking about the world around, I mean, we are not in competition with this universe. We would be in stress if we compete with the universe. We have to compete with ourselves. This is your exam, please. And you are going to make it a success for yourself only. Stop thinking about others because the social pressure that adds on to your nervousness and that reduces your efficiency. Am I right? Farah, at the back of mind is lots of people who know that you're appearing an exam. At the back of mind, what if I would not be able to make it, Muna? At the back of mind, Inaz, exactly. Today, I have to take you out from that show. You don't have to think about anyone. Exactly, Saba. See, we are with no one in a competition, remember. If we make ourselves as a competitor to others, we need to work hard for ourselves only. Otherwise, it would cause nothing but reducing the efficiency. It would reduce our, our response and our focused reading of the questions. Exactly, Aisha Chaudhary. That's like my girl. Never do I. In none of my exam, anybody knows that I'm appearing. <laughs> That's very important. That is a wise approach. Why? Because why do I have a nervousness? <laughs> Ina says, I know it, Aisha. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we are meeting here today to tell you that we ensure that we will not have negative thoughts of failure from this point onwards. The stress we are going to have would reduce our efficiency. So let's remove this thought absolutely. No stress, no failure. Tell yourself that all is well, success is near, and we are going to make it a success. Let our wellness overpower the stress. There is not going to be any failure. There would not be any stress. Is my voice audible and clear to all of you out there? Friends, the voice is clear to all of you? Inas, Sadiq, yes, it's clear? Okay, that's perfect. Thank you so much. All right. 
So we need to understand that if it's going to be a stressful situation from this point onwards, what would happen? The thing which is going to disturb us is going to be the negative thoughts. I want positivity from this point onwards. Let's feel the stress today. Let's think positive and let's be positive. M, M. If we are not going to sleep, we would have the hangover in exam. I want you to read the questions very carefully. That is only possible if you're calm. That is only possible if you're positive. See, whatever preparation we had to do, we have done that. We can't change that in these three, four days. We can't change that, my dear. But yes, we can change our attitude towards that. Saw that, my dear, what would happen? Tell me what would happen if you won't sleep? If this nervousness is making your sleep having an effect in terms of your outcome, we are going to affect ourselves. And definitely, yes, we do not want that. We do not want our efficiency in exam. I want a very focused reading of the single best answers. We had been discussing so much for the last three months. We had been doing so much of effort in the last uh, 20, 25 days with the fast track. We don't have to get damaged by our own self. Do you people understand? If you have a presence of mind on that day, I write it for you now that we have to be nothing but successful. Sarah, we have to read every question carefully. What are they asking for? That's very good, Mavish. Tell everyone we should not be stressful. Okay, tell me honestly, do you people have faith in miracles? Do you people have faith that if it is fated for you guys, it would happen? Do you people have faith in this thing that if at all, if at all, I am fated to be successful, it would happen for me? Yes. Do you people believe in that? Tell me. Yeah. Rina, Sheila, Farah. Yes. So why are we worried for? I spoke one sentence in the very right beginning. When we come in this universe, we are alone. When we go from this universe, we are alone. Nobody takes our burden. Nobody shares the burden. If the Almighty has fated for you that you will get this thing, nobody can stop you from getting that thing. If he has fated for you to have a delay of two to three months, it is again fated. But what is expectation from us? Expectation from us is to give our 100%. If we give our 100%, our job is done. Leave the rest to the Almighty. Our job is to give our 100% to reach that point. This is what is in our humble capacity. We cannot do anything more than that. Do you people understand this point? Yes. If you people are feeling that you are going to change your destiny, the only thing which can change your destiny is, number one, your hard work your honesty, and number two, your prayers. We are going to work on these elements only to be successful, but nervousness never plays a role. Nervousness shows that you're weak in your faith. Being anxious shows that you are weak in your faith. Believe me, you just keep the positive attire from this point onwards, you all will see miracles do happen. You will read the question, and I would be ringing in your ears. You would read the question and the discussion in the WhatsApp and the Telegram that would be coming in your mind. You would read the question and the answer would be just pouring in, in your thoughts. You would feel that. Believe me, you would feel that. But have a calm mind, a calm approach. You will feel the difference from this point onwards if you just put the negative thoughts. You know, once, if you have this thought that what if I fail? You just tell yourself, all right, I'll embrace that. But now I will do my best. Now I will come up with the best of my performance because I had my family sacrificing. I had my kids sacrificing. You really, really are going to be successful if you get yourself stronger than this stress. I'm here to give all the psychological support. No problems at all, Saba. You need to keep your back up. 
Yes, exactly, Saba. You need to keep your backup as a device. Whatever device is working fine, please use that. And you all would see after the exam that the discussion would be coming up in your mind. What happens? Basically, we need to learn this cycle today that the positive attitude, it basically is an optimistic behavior that results in a desired action and definitely ends up leading to a success. We really have to work hard on this. Today, I'm not teaching you any MRCPI written 30 part. We have done that. Nothing would change in three days. But yes, your attitude is going to change your outcome. And let me tell you guys today, Mehvesh, Sarah, Eminem, everyone, please pay attention. Ali, Usman, all of you, please. Whatever you all have studied, Zarmina, we have to create a backup, please. We have to create a backup for this. Keep two devices, please. Muna, my dear, everybody, please pay an attention. Let me tell you a very, very solid point out of my mentorship experience, out of my studentship experience. Whatever you had to study, you have done. Maybe Zarmina has done 90%, Muna has done 80%, of somebody has done even 40%. Today, you all are standing in one line. Why? Because if you are reproducing what you have studied perfectly for your exam, you would pass. And today, if you have even studied less, I'm talking to all those who still feel that we could have covered more because of our household chores, because of domestic commitments, because of the hospital routine. If Today, you have done only 40% and you have your presence of mind in single best answers. Believe me, there is still a chance that you people would be successful. Why is that so? Reason for that is because you have a chance to do exclusion. If you have a presence of mind, your basal knowledge, at times the medical school information that comes into your mind. Oh, yes, we read it somewhere. We had a discussion about it somewhere. I read this question somewhere. You people are not blank. It just seems today, because all the curriculum is in your mind, it seems today that you're blank. But believe me, what, when one question would be in front of you guys, nobody would be blank. You people would feel that you people would come up with the, with the discussion we have had, the reference we have had. Believe me, Noha, this would happen. Have faith in my words. This would happen. But under the nervousness, if you won't read, you won't be calm. Yes, that would affect your um, memory. That would affect your outcome. That would affect your decision power that day. That definitely we do not want. Meeting you today, early morning, reason for that is that it's time for action. Anyone who has studied less, Anybody shyster who has studied more, who has studied 100% or who has studied 20%, all of you are at equal chance to pass this exam. You all are equal today, provided those three hours you are going to take adequate, focused action, desired action to pass an exam. What do I want to say further? First of all, no negativity from this point. I'm going to be very serious, motivate each other. Tell yourself, I can do it. And believe me, you can do it. Second thing is that there are some practical things which we have to take care of. That is about attempting an exam. The preparation we have done, I'm quite satisfied the way you people have been reading questions. All of you, please pay an attention. Around 50 questions would be straightforward repeat questions. And you all know, if some new option is there, read that, read that carefully. Around 20 questions would be repeat questions with newer stems. But you have a grip over the topic. You just read it carefully, apply the exclusion, and you just manage it. Out of 30 remaining questions, 10, 12 questions or 15 questions would be new, but very basal level questions. They, they contain more score please ensure that you read them perfectly, right? You read them perfectly and there's no confusion in those questions around 10 to 12 questions in exam would be difficult question. Always tell yourself that if you are solving a difficult question, your neighbor is solving the same. 
It's not only for Shaista. It's not only for Muna. It's not only for Ali. It's not only for Umar. It's not only for Zarmina. It's not only for Eminem. It's for everyone. So if 12 questions are difficult, please do not make them affect your positivity or confidence because see, other 90 questions are only also in the exam and they also contain score. The problem with the 10 questions is that when doing those questions randomly, you start thinking about those questions, you get stuck up in those questions and you people face difficulty in exam. That means that the easy questions, they go wrong because if the effect of that difficult question, oh my God, I don't know this question. If one or two questions you don't know, it's absolutely okay. It's difficult for everyone out there. It's new for everyone out there. It's unusual for everyone out there. Do you people understand my point that you have to tell yourself? If you don't know any of the question, mark it. I'm going to tell you that how you mark it. Do you guys know that how do you mark the question? Amani, my girl? Yes. Do people know that how to mark the question, how to flash the question? Yes. How to tag it? Yes. So you can come back to that question in the end. Right? You don't have to worry. Yes. I'm going to show it to you once again. I've got one student's beautiful video. I'm going to show it to you. But before that, I have to tell you, Farah, that a beer exam attempting that is an art. So first of all, you people have to understand that follow the instructions. Read every word carefully. Please read the leading part of the question with full concentration. You can listen to your voice, speak in a way that you can listen to your voice. You don't miss out the age. You don't miss out the parity. You don't miss out that since when she's having this problem. And if you're stuck up with two options, always practice exclusion. Time management is generally not a problem in MRCPI, but people, they tend to finish up like 30 minutes earlier. I want you to re-go to that Please do the time management perfectly and do not worry about the time, but read the questions very carefully. Step number one, you all are going to read the question clearly that what is the question all about? The stem contains the buzzwords. The stem contains the hint. Please understand the buzzword, understand the hint. They definitely give you a clue. HMB and contraception, go straight to IUS, right? They give you the buzzword and you need to pick up that buzzword after reading the question. Then please ensure that you have read all the options carefully. If option number A seems correct, please don't mark it until and unless you have read B, C, D, E as well. Because A might be correct, but E might be the best one. This is, we did that in the live session as well, that you people jump to the first or the second option if you find it correct, please. And sure, mark it in your mind, but go till the E option because E might be one step ahead. Mariam, don't make this mistake. Abir, please do not make this mistake. Farah, I would be ringing in your ears. Please read all the options carefully. Why? Because A, B, C might be correct single best answers the problem is yes mariam do not jump to it the the problem in the single best answers is that it's not that one option would be correct sara a b c might be correct the the single best answer means that you might have three four correct but one is going to be the best which accurately tells you one step ahead. For example, we have done the CPR questions, right? If they say left lateral and the CPR, so if they give the complete option of the cardiopulmonary resuscitation, that's going to be the best one. Similarly, the epilepsy question is 100% coming in your exam. If they give you some complications anticipated with anti-epileptic drugs, if there's a row with the cleft lip, cleft palate, or that meta, the cardiac complications, the one with all the options would be the best one. Do you people understand? So when you're marking, I will be sitting beside you telling, telling to you guys, please read the options carefully. Please ensure that you have read all five options and then you're managing it. Am I clear? Always, as Abir is saying, the words accept, the words incorrect are very, very important. So always double check the leading sentence. Are they asking for the best? Are they asking for the next? Are they asking for the most appropriate? 
Are they asking for all except? They change the answer before marking and show that you double check the last three, four words of the sentence before the options. Are you all with me? This would make a difference in attempting exam. That's why I'm reminding you today. The link and the record would be with you. You have to listen to these steps before going to the exam. I'll be putting in the voice notes for you guys. Just before starting the exam, there are four to five things you have to ensure that you people remember. After this, if you people are done, you are going to mark the answer. Once you mark the answer, if you are having some ambiguity, you can flag the question. But generally, 50, 60, 70 questions would be quite straightforward. I always suggest to students not to change the answer. Trust on their first instinct. Reason being that first instinct is generally the correct one. But if you're 100% sure, I mean 100% sure, only then change the answer. Otherwise, if you're having a confusion between two, always, uh, always attempt as per your first instinct. Now, all of you know that the screen, how it, it would be. Uh, my student, um, uh, she's in MRC pair, Oski with me now, Atiya. She passed the MRC pair last time. She made this movie for you guys. If you people want, I can show you the detail that how the test teach would read. And if you people know it, then we are going to skip it. Do you people want me to go through the test reach, how it would be, everyone? It's just, I think, two minutes. And if you people want, yeah, everyone, yes? Okay, please confirm that you people can listen to the audio. Voices when clear? you open your uh, test reach app, here's the tutorial we, go ahead. you can all take for the practice. Open the tutorial. Start. It. it gives you general instructions about the exam and here it is mentioned that position of any paper, textbook or document of any kind during the examination is prohibited so we cannot keep a paper only we, we can use this notebook here which is given here notebook this one we can use okay then the timer of exam is going on here you can keep note of the time here and this end exam, which we will discuss later, we should not use this button. At the bottom, we have these numbers of questions. We can go to question number one and see. So this is the question. And in, in the end, do you understand how to navigate between questions? You press yes. And you go to the next question from here. So this one you have already attempted is coming as green. In another question, if you want to flag this question, do you understand how to use the flag feature? You will flag this question. Next one. Now you can see all the questions you have solved are coming in green and those you have flagged are coming in orange. And also it says that uh, the questions yet to be answered will appear as purple. This way you can move to next question like this. You will keep going to the next question. Okay. In the end, if you press the end exam button, uh, don't worry about it too much that uh, it will stop your exam. It will give you a, a just, it will tell you, you have not given an answer to these questions. Do you still want to close? So you can cancel at this time also. But better you don't uh, press this uh, and you don't finish this exam. If you finish this one, you will end up in closing this exam. If you press yes, this will be closed. You have just completed and then you can you cannot go back to that exam. All right, so I hope you understand that at the bottom here in the test reach, you're going to see all the questions. Students have been practicing this way, orange and green color. So the flag questions are going to be orange and green would be your done, your solved questions. On the top here, please have a look. Please do not end the exam. They're going to give you the option here. So all of you, please, exactly, yes. So three hours, you don't have a break, Amani, correct. As per Aisha Chaudhary's question, I would request all of you 
that um, they do have uh, because when we were taking our exams we took it on the site i mean we were in the examination hall we were not there in the test read but my students they always tell me that the test reads they do have the uh, invigilation like of the complete room yeah so if they're going to see that aisha they might ask you of course to remove that uh, algorithms wall and something so it's better that you take exam in a room which is uh, which do not have the uh, we should not have any sort of a reading material on the side. Okay. Uh, second thing regarding FARA, if you have your data, your, your folders in the computer, that's okay, but it should stay, of course, because your screen cannot be changed. All right. Yeah. So if I press the answer and I want to change again, you go to that question, you press the other answer, Muna, you can go back. All right. You press the answer, you're going to go back. Clear? Can we recheck and change the option of already attempted questions, ma'am? Yes, Zermina. So what you do is that you go to the question. For example, if I play the video again, just hold Wait on. Is many, many kind during given here. Okay, no, see, please see the bottom here. Okay. If you see the question number four, so you go to this. Let me show to you guys. Yeah. So this is question number one. You click, Aisha Chaudhary, you click to the question. You, after clicking that question, the question appears on the screen. So if A has been selected first, you click on B, it would change to B. And then when you will say, yes, I've done the question, then it's basically saved as the last. The last which you have marked would be your answer selected, right? No, Saba, at the bottom like this, 100 would be coming up. Uh, let me open up the highlighter for you guys. Everybody, please pay an attention. Zermina, Muna, please pay an attention. Can you see the highlighter, everyone? Can you all see the highlighter? So here you're going to have your questions block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an arrowhead which says forward. You make it forward eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, until 100, it would appear like this. The ones you have sold would appear as green. The ones you have flagged would appear as orange. So that when you go back, you see that these are the flagged ones and you click on that and that question comes on the screen. Could I make you guys clear, please? Yes, exactly, yes. From the beginning, it would be like this. Yes, my dear Salma. Clear? Yes, any questions regarding the attempting, please? If anybody has got any questions regarding the attempting, please. I wanted to show this to you guys so that that day you are not astonished to see the screen. You have got a good idea that how are we going up with. Yes? Uh, Salma, where are those files? In the laptop? Thank you very much, Aisha. In the laptop? Yes? Are they in the laptop? You won't be able to. From the desktop? No, it's okay. It should not be open, my dear. You need not, don't put them on the screen, of course, because your screen, you can't log out test reach and without, with, without completing the three hours, I mean, without completing the paper. If you flagged a question and then you ended the exam, Omar, before that, the, the answer you marked would be taken as the right marking. I mean, the last marking which you did. If you, if you changed A to B, so B is going to be your last answer, which is going to be taken as the check. Flag is for you. Do not flag the questions. Everybody, please pay attention. Do not flag the question without answering. There's no negative marking. So answer the question and then flag. Omar, right? Why? Because if you have got time, you'll come back to it. And if you don't have time, at least your first instinct is there. That's fine, then it's absolutely okay. The answer which you have marked is going to be the answer. Yes, 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 laptop is enough, Amani. Yes, yes, you're right, laptop is enough. Done? All right, that's great. Any questions, please, regarding the, uh, regarding the appearing in exam, regarding the exam pattern and the test reach, if still not clear, the WhatsApp and the Telegram, uh, Bintahawa also took last time. She's also there 24 seven guiding you guys with this. I just have to tell all of you again, that please remember that you are going to change your destiny. These three to four days, they matter a lot. We are going to appear with the positivity and it is not going to be possible if we would have nervousness and if we would not be sleeping. So from today, please ensure six to eight hours because that's going to affect your health. Ensure that you've got a perfect diet. Please take care of your sleep, take care of your health and stay fresh. Nothing would be a problem if at all you people have this 
faith in yourself that I'm going to be nothing but successful. Sabah Malik has a question. When we will answer final, it will get unflagged. We don't need to do it and submit. Um, you see, if it changes the color, it's okay, Sabah. But if it doesn't, you can do the accept. Yes, okay? So that means that you have, you have unflagged. All right? The color shows you it's a flagged one or an unflagged one. If you have sold it, the answer you have sold is going to be the right one. All right? Muna, please uh, come up with a question again. It went up in the chat. Muna, copy paste the question again, sweetie. Let me go up in the chat. Hold on. Muna, Muna, Muna. Amani's question is there. Muna says, Mom, in exam day, we have any email to go through exam. I mean, to start exam. Uh, Muna, you have give, you've been provided with the timing. Everyone, you people all have been provided with the timing. Correct? Yes. So that timing is your timing to start at. And that is your local timing. Exactly. So it's going to be United Arab Emirates, 12 p.m., the KSS students, they've got their own timings. You've got timing as per your test read application, as per your exactly 1 p.m. park and MNM, it's 11 a.m. KSA, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is 11 a.m. So it is going to be exactly as Aisha Chaudhary, it's 9 a.m. United Kingdom. You people need to remember. Okay, so that's going to be the sequence you people would follow. Answers will be automatically submitted if I don't end the exam on time, ma'am. Sheila, generally students, they end around 10, 15 times minutes earlier. But if three hours are over, last time this happened, I remember with Samreen as well. But when she called them up that I couldn't end because there was some problem with the internet, but the test reach was gone. So they said it's okay. Auto acceptance is being done on the test reach. So it's being auto saved. All right. If you don't end it up, it's being auto saved. Saba. Okay. We are going to be available in the study group for any sort of a technical assistance at that time. I need your full focus. If you have any anything to uh, you know be worried about, you can just write in the fast track group and people will be there to guide you guys on there. You people will have a good set of Irish students are also there, good set of guidance. Muna, that was your question, right? That what, what time are we going to start? Any email? No, Muna, they've already given you the timing. Yes, yes, yes. They've already given you the timing. You will just log in on that timing and your test reach would open. You get my point, Muna? You've got that email, right? That is your timing. You'll click on that email and it would open on that very moment. The last, the last email where you receive the timing for your UAE. Got it? Okay. All right, and if any more information and update would be there, at least 15 minutes, at least 15 minutes. Make it 20 minutes to be on the safer side. Yeah, one more thing I have to tell you guys, three hours is not much. For, for MRCT part two students, I'm a little concerned because see, three hours, then um, one hour or 30 minutes gap, and then again, three hours. So ensure that you people understand uh, the the benefit of uh, having a good diet in in the morning ensure that you people are well hydrated ensure that your glucose levels are good and uh, ensure that you people are fresh these three requirements i have we have been working hard i don't want that on the last day because of these tiny things we have a lack of attention lack of focus on the exam questions all right yes exactly your own password your own email yes my dear Okay, so ensure that you get you take a very good breakfast in the morning. You take some juice, right? You take water, stay hydrated, attend your toilet, and then sit for exam. So three hours is not a big time. You would feel that many of the questions you would be knowing, right? So once you people face any difficulty, Abir, you can write down in the Telegram three hours, all the technical team, all the mentors, all the moderators, they're going to be with you guys, right? So check like to, no, my dear Ravi, it's not like that. But yes, your test reach uh, acceptance according to your email, they would do, you can keep one ID with you. It's always better, okay, to keep one ID. All right, okay. So do we have a higher morale now? Are we all set for appearing in exam? Are we all ready to pass this exam? Are we believing in ourselves? that nothing is impossible? Are we all better today than we were yesterday? Yes, very well done. You all would do it. Just work on those five steps of single best answer swallowing. Work on your diet, work on your night's sleep and work on the positivity around. You will do that. 
And I came here to meet you guys just to tell you that how important these days are. Let me remind once again that you all are standing in one line. Whosoever is appearing now either has studied for six months, four months, three months, two months, or one month. Everybody is equal because now we need to have a very good support for the exam solving questions. You are going to support yourself because you are going to be successful. Again, only you have competition with yourself. Let's pray that all the blessings be with us. Let's pray to the Almighty that we are indeed sinful. We are indeed nothing but what you give us courage for. We just need your blessings for this. We just need your help that may those three hours be very easy, very smooth, and may we be successful. May you all get what you desire for. I'm sure that we are going to celebrate. Wishing you all the best of luck from the entire team of RFA theaters. We love you all. Praying hard. Again, it seems that it's our exam once again. You all would do it and we would have another meeting of celebration. Bye-bye from my side. Stay active, stay positive, take care of yourself, and you all would achieve what you desire. Thank you so much. RFA tutors, love you all. See you guys in the study group. Best of luck. Very well done. You all can do it. I would be sending the last minute voice notes, which you have to listen to 30 minutes before the exam starting so that you keep those things registered in your mind. Bye-bye from my side. Take good care. Stay confident, stay composed, and you all can do it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Have a lovely time with books. Stay confident. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.